Hello, I'm going to go ahead and start up the VMware client here. One thing you should be aware of is that when you start the VMware client, that essentially you're starting a brand new computer. VM stands for virtual machine. And so even though we're going to continue to use perhaps the computer in your house, this essentially transforms it into a computer lab computer. Okay, so now with the VMware running, uh, we're in that client, and as I'm mentioning here, again, this is not your computer anymore, and that it's going to have a different set of programs and a different set of data files. To work within the VMware client, there's three things that you're going to want to do for our assignments. You'll want to open up Blackboard so you can get into our course, open up SPSS, and also open up Microsoft Word so that you can put your reports together and then submit it. So first, I'm going to go ahead and log into Blackboard. <clears throat> I'm using Firefox uh, because Firefox uh, plays very well uh, with the use of Flash, especially if I'm on campus. But within the VMware, you can actually use either Firefox or Internet Explorer. Uh, both of them uh, should actually work with the Flash stuff. OK, so I have the Blackboard open. Now I'm going to start up the SPSS program. Okay, so that's the SPSS, and I'm just kind of making these programs appear kind of small so we can visually see all the different programs that we're going to be using as part of this assignment. Uh, our Blackboard course, our SPSS, and also the Microsoft Word. Okay, and I'll go ahead and resize the Microsoft Word. And when it says, do I want to make changes? No, I don't want to make any changes with that Microsoft Word. So resizing it. Okay, so now I'm good to go. I can either type directly into the SPSS uh, data view and variable view to put my uh, data in, or I can open up a file that I've created previously. Throughout the semester, we'll be using files that we previously created. So let me show you how I would go ahead and get my uh, previously created data file uh, from my email program. I'm coming into the Microsoft College Outlook uh, Access. You would be using something like uh, Gmail or, or Yahoo or, or whatever uh, email program that you choose to work with. So as mentioned, just go ahead and open up your email account. And if you previously saved an SPSS file by sending it to yourself as an attachment, uh, this is something that you can start off doing as well. If not, then you simply just type the data into SPSS and it might take all of an extra 10 minutes. So it's not a big deal whether you save your SPSS files for later use. It just saves you time in the future. Okay, so when I save my SPSS uh, file onto this VMware uh, computer, keep in mind that this file that I'm downloading to the VMware, it's only going to stay there as long as the VMware is open. When I shut down the VMware, that file will get wiped away. So I'm just going to save it, the uh, SPSS file I previously worked on into the My Documents folder. Okay, with the file downloaded, I'll go ahead and open it up. And here it is. This is a file that I previously created regarding spring semester units. No, it would not have taken me very long to just type in that data. But since I previously worked on it and sent it to myself as an email attachment, I can also have the option of just opening it. OK, so I'm going to walk through the following steps that are typical to an assignment. I'm going to be creating a table and histogram, copy them into the Microsoft Word document, save that Word document, and then upload that Word document to Blackboard. So first, creating a table and histogram. So you'll see I'm going to go to the Analyze drop-down menu, choose Descriptive Statistics and Frequencies. I'll move my variable over. And in Charts, I'm choosing Histogram, and then Show Normal Curve, and then clicking OK. SPSS creates the output. I have the Frequency table and also the Histogram. 
and on the left you can see I have my Microsoft Word document open and ready to go. Now I could um, click on the frequency table and then do control C or I can click on the frequency table and go to the edit drop down menu and choose copy. When I come within Microsoft Word I can then paste it by either doing control V or um, pasting it from the uh, home ribbon. Okay so here's the histogram Again, I clicked on the histogram. I'm going to the Edit drop-down menu, choosing Copy, coming into Word, and I find it's just easy to right-click and choose Paste. All right, now I have a Word document, and it has in it both the histogram uh, and a table. It's been copied in and ready to go. Now I'll save that Microsoft Word document. I'm going to save it to this VMware computer, because remember, as long as I'm running the VMware client, even though it's on my home computer, for all intents and purposes, it's a lab computer. So I'm going to save this Microsoft Word uh, file to my documents. I could save it wherever I want, but I'm saving it to my documents because it'll be easy for me to find later. How much later? Only as long as I'm running the VMware client. Once I exit out of the VMware client, it's going to be gone. That's fine. I just need it there so I can upload to Blackboard. Okay, now that I've saved my Microsoft Word document, I'm ready to upload it to Blackboard. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, here's my Blackboard course. And I'll head over to the learning units and scroll down to one of my folders that has an SPS assignment, like folder 3B. And I'll click on where it says SPSS Assignment. And since I already had a, a file attached, I'm going to essentially tell it this is a redo. So I'm scrolling down to where it says Attach File and uh, Browse My Computer. So good. I, now I need to just find the MS Word document. And I know that I uh, saved it to the My Documents folder. So oh, good, I find it, and I upload it. Now, of course, the actual assignment for Unit 3B had nothing to do with the units. Again, I'm just walking you through the mechanics of creating uh, tables and graphs, putting them into a Word document, and uploading it. All right, now I'm done. I could literally just close down the VMware and walk away, but if I want to save my SPSS data file for later use, as well as keep a copy of the assignment I just uploaded. That's not too hard to do. I can uh, just bring up my email program and create a new email and attach those two files that I want to keep, my SPSS data file and the MS Word document. And then I just have a copy of both of them for later use, should I need them. All right, so I'm going to go into my email program start a fresh email and indicate that it's going to go to myself. I'll attach a file. I'm also giving my email a subject line so I can recognize it later. Okay, so attach. And I'm in the uh, document, so I'm going to attach first the uh, one file and then go ahead and attach the second file. There I go and send it to myself. Click on my inbox it. There's that new email. And it has the two files I previously worked on. OK, so now when I close the VMware and walk away from it, and all the files on the VMware are deleted, doesn't matter. I've A, submitted my assignment to Blackboard. And B, I have a copy of both files I worked on uh, in my email uh, box. So I guess that's the biggest thing to recognize is that when you're running VMware, even though it's on your computer, you're actually using a virtual machine with its own pr programs and its own files. And when you shut down that VMware, everything that you've done after about 20 minutes is wiped away. It waits for at least 20 minutes in case if you lost a connection, you come right back to it, your stuff will be there. But after about 20 minutes, uh, it's wiped clean. All right, having done everything that needed to get done, just going through and closing the programs that I used. A 
in those programs were the um, Blackboard course, the SPSS, Microsoft Word, and since I was emailing stuff to myself, my uh, email program that was online. All right, bye-bye.